train the muscles, not the joints. Losing the light here, losing the light. Thank God I got my own internal light. That's important. My own internal light lights the way. Lights the way in the Galantian path, the Galantian galaxy path where there's lots of light, like stars and stuff. Yeah, anyway, today I'm gonna do a workout vlog. I'm gonna show you some chest, back, and some biceps. Now, if you don't like watching workouts, you might not like this. Just kidding, the whole video pretty much kicks ass. It's pretty much the best thing you've ever seen in your life. In my opinion, I think you're never gonna see anything better than this. If I were you, I would encourage you to watch to the end of this video because there's lots of stuff in between that's pretty good. Well, come on, just watch the video. Just, God. There's gonna be just a lot of working out. I'm gonna show you some different techniques on the seated row in order to hit that back. And I'm also gonna talk about how I increase intensity in my workouts. Not intensity as far as the typical definition of the word, such as, you know, higher percentage of one rep max, but more about uh, intensity as far as effort and hitting different muscle fibers. But anyway, I talk about that. This is a video from about a month ago. So that's why the weather's different but I never did upload it because I have a whole bunch of clips and workouts that are in the can, they say, you know, that's what, they, they, not the bathroom. But they say in the can, which means it's in the hard drives, which means I have a lot of video clips, kind of saved that for you. So yeah, you can watch this uh, video. I think you're gonna get a lot out of it. I think you're gonna enjoy it just because I'm in it and I'm sparkly in a very masculine way. Yeah. All right, so tonight I'm gonna to do some higher volume, even though I'm staying with a two-day split type program. So you've seen me do ultra high frequency where I train a little bit of every body part every single day. Now I'm going to go back to two-day split. And I'm going to increase my volume to about 10 sets per body part. And if I'm really sore that day, sometimes I'll back off on the sets or not, but I am trying to push the volume a little bit because sometimes you can get stuck at a certain plateau and I get guys all, all the time you know, emailing me saying they're at a plateau, what do they do? Well, the first thing you do when you're at a plateau is you change something up. So I've already tried to actually push the weight and go higher level of weight. Like, so say I'm doing 275 on the bench, then do 295 because that is a higher level of intensity and I do find it's harder on the body, but it's not always good just to push weight. At some point when you go heavier, but you're not making more gains, you're not getting stronger, it's just like you're always at the same reps every single time you come to the bench for months on end, the same reps, or sometimes you even go down a bit. Sometimes then you need to change something. You either increase the rep ranges, or you lower the rep ranges, or you change the frequency, or you change something, right? So now what I'm doing is I'm hitting with higher volume, thinking that it may stimulate a different muscle fiber, the muscular endurance fibers in the muscle, and that may contribute to overall strength and size. So yeah, I'm trying this out right now and I'm sore as hell. I'll tell you that right now, I'm really sore. But yeah, you've got to experiment like this in order to find out what works for you. So don't stop experimenting, it's really important. Right, so here I am. Higher volume workout. Let's see, let's see. I'm not talking that much this workout. You know, you notice that I'm just, I'm just kind of concentrating and getting those sets in. Man, I'm intense sometimes. Not much clowning around in front of the camera today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I guess I didn't have enough to eat or something. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm just
just pumping those reps, right? Pumping those reps. Pump, 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 and then a little bit of rest, and then pump, 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 pump the reps, just like the pump and rest principle that I just put up. Pump, 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 and then a little bit of rest, and then pump, 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 pump the reps, just like the pump and rest principle that I just put up. I just put up the pump and rest principle. You can't say pump really fast when you're in the cold. Just so you know, uh, this is another thing I'm teaching you right now. Is something about talking. And when you talk, and it's really cold out, if you have trouble talking normally, you're going to have a lot of trouble talking when it's cold. Because your mouth kind of freezes up. The pump and rest principle. Yeah, watch that video if you haven't watched it yet. But yeah, I apply it in here too. Some people ask me whether they should do heavy weight or lightweight first in their training. And a lot of times I do my heavy sets first and that way I have all that energy just to really hit those fast twitch fibers and really push them to the max. And then I'll go into the lighter sets because otherwise if you do the lighter sets first, a lot of times you drain off all your energy and then when you go to do the heavy weight, you've got nothing left, right? You just can't do it. So heavy weight is a form of higher intensity. So it only stands to reason that you need more energy in order to do that. So that's why you see me do the first five sets heavy weight and then I went down to 225 for several sets as well. I hope that helps you out. I hope it makes sense to you in this world of anarchy and craziness and confusion. And I hope this brings some light to it. Because remember, I, I got that, that light thing going on. I'm gonna lower the weight, lower the weight down to 225 and just do well, four or five sets of that. Uh, 
uh, as far as back, when I do the pump and rest principle in back, what happens is that I will just extend the weight, uh, keeping the arm slightly bent in the seated row, and I will hold it there for a minute and then continue to pump again. That pump just keeps coming back, eh? Just keeps, keeps coming back. Just pump, 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 pump and rest. PNR, the pinner, the PNR. Not GNR, not like Guns N' Roses, but the PNR principle. Pump and rest. Yeah. So here I find I feel the back the most. Once I go forward like this, I find that my shoulders, the rotator cuff has to fire to keep the shoulder in the joint. And it takes away from my back workout. I find that my shoulders start to stabilize more. And my shoulders end up hitting failure long before my back does. So watch the technique that I use for back. This might apply to you or might not. But try it out if you can. Try it out if you want. See, just to here, not here, just here. You can lean forward a bit if you want to get some more lat in there. But... The secret is not relaxing the shoulders or the arms. If you relax the shoulders and arms, and then your rotator cuff muscles have to try to stabilize the shoulder, and then they end up hitting failure long before your back does. Did you like that tip? <laughs> I thought it was pretty good too, because I have a, a ba 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 a ba 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 big 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 lat back big lat back. Because I have a a ba 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 a ba 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 big 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 lat back big lat back. Because I have a a ba 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 a ba 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 big 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 lat back big lat back. Big 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 lap back, big lap back. Big 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 lap back, big lap back. Big 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 lap back, big lap back. I don't have lats. I have galats because I have a a ba 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 a ba 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 big 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 lap back, big lap back. Because I have a a ba 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 a ba 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 big 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 lap back, big lap back. Big 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 lap back, big lap back. Do you want galats? If you want galats, you better do the technique I just showed you there. Of course, you gotta cater it to yourself, but you get the point, right? Galats. That's genius, isn't it? motivational this shit is. You know what, I'm not, I'm not even gonna edit anymore. That's it, I'm gonna work out. Screw this. If you use this technique, it's gonna work for you, guaranteed. I, I stole that from somebody. Somebody commented, they said that, they, they made that joke. Yeah, this, this technique works guaranteed, guaranteed.
So yeah, the two, two different workout programs I'm doing right now mostly is the higher volume two-day split type of workout and then the super high frequency lower volume type workout where I only do three sets per body purpose, where I do the whole body four or five days a week, right? So I go back and forth with this. So it's, it's a matter of about going on feel. I'm not necessarily married to one way or the other. It's just a matter of pushing the body in different ways and then whatever motivates me, it goes down to that passion principle that I've talked about. Whatever motivates me is what I basically continue to do. So there are a couple of mistakes that I see people do with the incline curl. One of them is that they put the incline way too low. So they've got it down at 30 degrees or something and they're overstretching their front delt. So their front delt's taking an exponential amount of stress compared to the bicep. Uh, the other thing is, is that it's okay to keep the arm slightly bent at the bottom. This will keep the tension off the insertions from the muscles as well as it'll keep some of the tension off the shoulder. And the other thing is, is that it's okay to pronate which means turning the arms in a little bit, turning those palms in a little bit. This will take the stress off the bicep brachii tendon, which has an easier time tearing or pulling or having an injury. So you don't want the bicep brachii stopping the momentum. You wanna transfer that momentum more to the brachialis, which is the bicep that is in, you know, hooked to the forearm and everything. So pronate in a little bit at the bottom, keep the arm slightly bent, and that way you'll be stretching the muscle belly but not transferring so much stress to the actual tendons or insertions. about 10 sets per body part. I uh, just did a couple sets less on the bicep curls just because I got to get out here get something to eat or whatever because I started to get hungry. 
So what I'm gonna do is do heavy weight for the first five sets or so with each exercise, and then I move down to a lighter weight for the last five sets. Except in back, I pretty much stayed to the same weight the whole time because I was doing a little bit of higher reps in the beginning, and then I just let the reps come down. But yeah, this is the premise that I'm doing right now. This is another way that I'm pushing the intensity of my workouts. Not the true meaning of the word intensity, which is you know percentage of one rep max or anything, but what I'm doing is pushing the effort level in the workouts, and I'm trying to stimulate those strength endurance fibers by doing more sets and see if that helps me blast through a plateau, right? Right? So I'm doing uh, higher sets right now. I'm not doing quite as much frequency. I'm training a two-day split right now, but I've upped the sets in order to uh, compensate because before I was doing whole body workouts almost every single day. So now my frequency is down a little bit, but I'm going to up the sets to compensate for it. So I hope you got something out of this workout. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and take care for now. Oh yeah, and, sh and share my stuff.